Yo, man, fuck this shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why bother bettering yourself, man? This system was built with your failure to run it. What's the point? Fucking sperm toilets, man. Can't work, study, or live around females without random fuckery. Like slut walks, relational violence, forced suicides on men, uh, manipulation, racketeering, tone policing, safe spaces, dick policing, sexism, racism, emotional terrorism, uh, whatever the fuck that is, false flagging, proxy violence, waste, fraud, and abuse. These invasive fucks are everywhere. Now, you want to call us incels for rejecting it. Fuck you. In every government, corporation, and organization, non-governmental organization, all the non-profits got it too, there is no escape from any of that. What's the point of brotherhood, huh? They're all going to sell you out for pieces of silver or whatever the fuck is the leading currency of the day. Oh yeah, your money's fake, but your debts are still due, so... Fuckery continues, you slave. Shit, I don't give a shit if I get one like for this shit. It's the truth. The EU wants to preserve the problem. The UN and NATO are toothless. The United States are a corporation. Um, and don't even get me started on Africa, Australia, and Asia. Bloodlines secure all their power. <laughs> so, brothers... You want to be free? Burn it all the fuck down. Burn it down. Fuck it. Get your hockey mask, gentlemen. Time to take back what's yours by any means necessary. Whoa, wait, wait. Hey, 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 wait. Negative thinking is everywhere, man. If you are a nihilistic thinking man, you might not know how much of an effect it has on you. How you think shapes your reality, man. If your first inclination is to see the world like I did in that first half, you're going to live in a dark world. I promise you that. If your habit is to zoom in on the fuckery all the time, the world is not going to be a wonderful place for you. And you might say, I'm just keeping it real, or... I'm being realistic. Or you may think that you're being rational, discriminating, or intelligent. But the reality is, man, from the outside looking in on you, you're stuck in a warped worldview. Negative thinking is bad for you in every way, man. So here's how you prep for this meditation. It's very unusual in that you take every hour of your waking life in that day to practice it in one full day. Take heed to the ways in which you're habitually negative in your thinking or in your speech. Save yourself from further descent toward the black pill, man. It's a long way down. One, for one full day, if you can, gentlemen, refrain from saying or thinking anything negative Distract yourself with great things that men have done to keep you alive, like the invention of traffic lights, the invention of algebra, and that refrigerator at home. Note when you have the urge to make negative or sarcastic comments, or it could be a negative thought or two towards someone or something that you don't like. As you, as you start to witness your negative thoughts arise, You'll be amazed at the level of negativity in your mind. Number two. Be gentle with yourself. And simply note the negativity. Don't punish yourself for it, man. Have a laugh at it. No, not a maniacal laugh about it. See how silly it can be? Do you see how silly it can be to see it this way? Three, pass your experience to all men on how you can avoid taking the black pill 
or be their antidote to the black pill, you know? Use this meditation to begin to be more positive and supportive with your red pill thinking. The benefits of this meditation is to expose that nihilistic thinking and it will promote a more positive view of your life. Look, my end game for going my own way is at the very last thought in my mind, within the last beat of my heart, is to know and feel that I went my own way. Share it to men needing a red pill. Like it if you stumbled upon this video and made it this far. Subscribe and bang the bell if you want to see me again. Get on the bit shoot or the Zimp channel. You see that. It's in the damn description. You know where it is. Donate to Veterans Outreach. Donate to Veterans Outreach of your choice. I visit the VFW. I also visit POW MIA lodges. And if you are donating to me into my cash app or crypto, it'll be for channel improvements, you OG subscribers. And last but not least, no, I won't even angry MIG tell you. Peace, gentlemen.